of the last Mount Gambia this afternoon, this Thursday afternoon of racing. Now they're locked away. Green light is switched on. The bunny rolling for the last time today here at Mount Gambia. Ready for a start. Set racing and uh, in the centre there St. Coco but hunting up the favourite Zemanski Fury leads it now from St. Coco in second placing racing to third there Betty's Entity a couple away then came dressed up well back out of it then was another pick and back out of its ground as well Minari Vegas off the back and it's all the favourite Sabansky Fury stride six in front in second placing St. Coco but it's Sabansky Fury scoring by about eight on the line Second went to dressed up. Third would have been St. Coco. Fourth in went to another pick, Betty's Entity. Back out of its ground then was uh, dressed up. Uh, Credent back in the field as well and uh, Cookie Deeds. 23 and 20 was the time recorded approximately. And we're standing by for those numbers to be confirmed, but an easy win to the favourite Zemanski Fury in the final event on the program here today at Mount Gambia. Numbers going to the frame. They are 1, 5 and 4. Zemanski Fury for t Tony Henriksen. And uh, Zemanski Fury is also owned by Tony. The Greyhound of Brindle Bitch. December 17 by Barcia Bale from Destiny Firebird. Win number 11 from 89 starts now for Zemanski Fury. Defeating number 5, dressed up. Third to number four, St. Coco, and fourth into number three, another pick. So one, five, four, three, that second Greyhound dressed up, trained by Jason Newman, and the third runner, number four, St. Coco, Dean Fennell. One, five, four, three, 23 and 18, that corrected time, 23 and 18 on the final event on the program, and an easy win. Eight and a half lengths the winner scored by, with a half between second and third. So eight and a half by a half, race time there of 23, 18 after the running of the last 154 and 3 those numbers to round out the program here at 